If we want to increase bone density in a lumbar spine, the most important thing to remember is we have to have compression, and it's that load that actually triggers the new growth of bone. However, we have to be careful that we are in as good a posture as we can be. If someone is significantly kyphotic or rounded, we definitely don't want to load this spine because as we load it, it can actually contribute to more compressive fractures in the thoracic spine. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Ed Debu, physical therapist from Integrated Physical Therapy in Bellingham, Washington. In today's video, we're gonna go over four exercises that are clinically shown to improve bone density, especially in the lumbar spine. Let's get to it. Now, all four exercises that I show you today should be done for three sets, anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 repetitions. And if you can, I'd like you to do them two to three times per week. First exercise is an overhead press. Now, it's really important that we're in good posture. So I'm gonna stand up as tall as I can. I'm gonna elongate my spine. I'm gonna engage my core. So I'm gonna bring my belly button in towards my spine. I'm gonna to try to be as straight as I can. I have a slight bend in my knees. I'm gonna bring the weight. Now, you may have to just start with a can of soup if you need to. I'm gonna bring the weight here, right over my shoulders. And then I'm gonna press straight up and back down again, straight up. And as you can see from the side, is that I'm loading my spine directly straight down. Now for some people, getting their shoulders all the way up and over might be a little painful. So let's talk about some modifications. If you can't press with the weight out here, what you can do is you can try to bring it in a little bit and then try to press it straight up this way. For some people, they're not able to bring their arm all the way up over their head. So what you might have to do first is work on some stretching to get full shoulder range of motion. So I'll show you a simple way you can do that. So go ahead and come to a door frame and I'm gonna show you with my left arm first. And as I'm standing facing the door, my arm is straight up from my shoulder. So it's not in, it's straight up from my shoulder. And I'm gonna bring this arm up as far as I can and I'm gonna reach. And as I do that, you'll hopefully get a little bit of a stretch on the undersurface. What does it look like on my right arm? I'm gonna bring my arm up so it's in line with my shoulder. I'm coming here. I'm gonna reach up and I'm gonna step into the door frame and I'm gonna glide it up as far as I can and reach, pause, step back, back down to about here. Back up and reach and back down again. Step in and reach, pause and back down. I would try to do that about 10 to 15 times on each shoulder and work on that first until you have full range of motion. And then what you can do is go into the shoulder presses. Don't forget to pick up your PDF, Five Hidden Reasons for Pain. It's absolutely free. I'll put a link down below. You can grab it from my website. The second exercise shown to build bone mass density in your spine is the squat. Now I understand that a lot of my clients will have knee pain, osteoarthritis, maybe hip osteoarthritis, and they can't do the traditional squat. But we should try to find some variation of it. So let's try this. Use the back of a chair, engage your core. You're gonna squeeze your quad muscles tight. You're gonna squeeze your bun muscles tight. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to hinge at the hip. Remember, we're not rounding out our spine. We're going to hinge at the hip and drive our hips back and do a little bit of a mini squat and then back up again. In my experience working with clients, even with pretty severe knee arthritis, they can usually do at least a mini squat. And this might be where you start. I definitely don't want knee pain and you have to drive your hips back. Now, if that's pretty easy for you, what you can do is bring the chair back here and we can start off by doing chair squats. Same concept, stand up nice and tall, fold your arms across your chest, stick your buns back out, sit in the chair. Then you're gonna go nose over toes, but you're gonna lean forward from your hips, not your spine. And then you're gonna come up. For some people, that might be pretty easy. The next progression would be just a hover and go. Have the chair behind you for safety. Just touch or hover and come back up again. Touch and back up again. For some people, that's really easy. Then we go to a weighted squat. This is just a three pound dumbbell. I'm gonna cradle it, elbows in right below my chin, and I'm gonna come down and sit in the chair, and then I'm gonna push back up again. If that starts to get easy, I'm just gonna touch and go. Come down, touch the chair, 
and back up again. And as you continue to get stronger, you would just use more and more weight. You can even have two weights in your hands if you want to. I can be here and I can even start working on my mini squats. So there really should be some variation of a squat that you can probably start doing even now, even if you have, unfortunately, some arthritis in your knees or hips. Third exercise is called a farmer's carry. So what you'll do is you'll grab weight in each hand. So right now I'm just starting off with three pounds in each hand. Good posture, so scapula back and down, engaging my core. And then the idea is, is that I want you to walk for either one minute or a hundred steps, whichever is easier for you to figure out. And the idea is, is that we are strengthening every muscle that's involved in walking and I'm creating an axial load or a compressive force into my spine, especially with the weights by my side, that's gonna help signal increased bone mass density over time. You wanna try to use enough weight to where it actually is a little bit challenging. Think about carrying two suitcases or bags up a flight of stairs. Think about going through the airport and having to carry luggage. So farmer's carry is a great way to improve your overall strength, bone mass density, strengthen all the muscles of walking, and you're working on grip strength as well too. If you're in the gym, that's the best because you can start off with 10 pounds and see how it feels, walk for 100 steps, and then come on back. That gets easier every time you go back to the gym, increase the weights a little bit. If you don't have weights at home, gallon of water is about eight pounds. Grab both of those, nice and tall and be strong, and walk around with that, like I said, for 100 steps or for a minute, and repeat that three times. This last exercise gets people a little bit nervous. It's called the deadlift, right? And you've got this view of people lifting up hundreds of pounds and deadlifting. But the deadlift really is a very functional exercise. Take, for example, trying to lift up a laundry basket or a box from the floor. I recommend practicing this with a good sturdy laundry basket. The first thing to remember about doing the deadlift is we have to learn how to hinge at the hip. I want you to notice how flat my back is. As long as I drive my hips back, then I can bend my knees a little bit and I can come down here and my back is nice and flat. When my back is flat, my hips really drive back. And then I grab onto this, I stay nice and tight, scapula in the back pocket, and I push down with my feet and I lift the basket up. And then I'm gonna come back down, touch, and back up again. Once you can get the movement down and it feels comfortable, then you start loading up the basket. I'm gonna go ahead and put my three pound weights in here, gauging my core, tight grip, and back up again. And back down, and back up again. You'll need to be creative with what you can load your basket with, but the idea is, is that it's a very functional movement that we should all be doing, and it's a great way to load the spine in a healthy way, learning how to move properly, and increasing bone mass density. At the end of the video, I'll put a link to the playlist of all my osteoporosis videos, so make sure you check it out. Please feel free to share this video if you have any family or friends that might have low bone mass density or osteoporosis. Please leave a comment down below. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Keep exercising, stay strong, and I will see you at the next video. Thank you for watching.